Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a John Stezeker inspired collage in Photoshop. John Stezeker's work here mashes up or combines photographs together, often mixing genders, utilizing portrait angles, and even eliminating parts and at times repeating certain elements. So for what we are going to do, you're going to need two photos of yourself or of others, it doesn't really matter, but I've taken two photos of myself here at different angles and in black and white and I have them saved on my desktop just for faster access. So we're going to open Photoshop. If it's not in your dock, simply go up into your finder and you may possibly have a newer version than me. Once it opens, simply click on new to create a new document. Go ahead and give it a title. I'm going to use international paper, which is A4, and then simply click OK. So if you look at the bottom here, it's at 16%. The view's been reduced, so the document is fully visible within my screen. If I click Command minus, it will go out further. And if I press Command plus, it will zoom in. Before we get started, go up to Window here and check if your workspace is set to Essentials, because what we are going to be using today is the Layers panel, as well as Paths. So the first thing we want to do is import our two photos. I'm simply going to highlight and drag them into my document here. As it comes in, you can see there is an X over the image. This is because the photo is automatically in edit mode. To exit, all we have to do is hit return and you'll see the second one then imports. And I'll just hit return again. You can see the two photos here in my layers panel. Each photo is on a separate layer. If you click and hold, you drag a photo up or down to whichever you want on top. And the eye icon here can also be turned off if you wish to hide a layer. So similar to the work of Stezeker, I'm going to cut this photo so the bottom part is superimposed over the second photo. You will notice if I click and drag, the photo can be moved around as well. You should also notice that I have one photo that is bigger than the other, which I can adjust and fix later. So to get started, I'm going to go over here to my pen tool. Any tool that has a little triangle in the corner means that if you click and hold, other tool options are available. I'm simply going to use the first pen tool option. I'm planning on making a diagonal cut across this photo just under my nose. To do that, I'm going to click here, again here, here, and back at the beginning to close it. This will erase the section I just went around. So down in my pass panel here, you can see a work path has appeared. I'm going to go down to the bottom to this icon that looks like a dotted circle and click it. Then back up in my layers panel, I'm then going to click this. And then you see it has erased that section. So sliding over to this section, I'm going to use the selection tool. In my layers panel, this image is highlighted, which means I am working on that photo. I can now click and drag to reposition the photo and attempt to align the edges of my head. You see this photo is a little bit smaller, so I need to make it bigger. I need to go back into edit mode by holding command and then pressing T. If I go down to the corner and hold down the shift key, I can drag these corners out. Holding the shift key constrains the aspect ratio of the photo. So this looks pretty good. I now hit enter and exit edit mode. Now I can just slide or maneuver the photo to make it fit better. Back in edit mode, if you move your cursor near the corner, you will notice a rotational arrow. With this, you can also play with tilting your photo, especially if you had a portrait on an angle. I'm going to leave mine the way it is. So I kind of like how the photo underneath extends beyond the border of the top image. One thing I want to fix is the white space at the top and the bottom. We should have fixed this at the beginning, but it's okay. So I'm going to click on that photo layer and go into edit mode again by holding the command key and pressing T. I'm going up to the corner and while it's holding the shift key, I'm extending the size a bit to fill that blank area. This is just my preference and you don't need to do this if you don't want to. When done, press return to exit. Now I need to go back and fix the top photo as it's too small again. Again, I will hold the command key and press T to edit and hold the shift key while it's extending the corners to increase the size. I press return to exit edit mode and play around with aligning the edges. You may notice it's snapping to a grid when moving. To make smaller and more refined adjustments or movements, you can use the arrow keys on your keypad. So I'm happy with this and I'm going to go up to File, Export, Export As. 
I'm going to change the format to JPEG and then select export all. This dialog box will appear. Yours may open smaller like this, so just click the drop down arrow to expand. I'm just going to save mine on the desktop. So if I slide this over, here's a previous one I made and the one I just made now, both saved as JPEGs.